Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the animation industry because apparently uh, girls don't like animation. They grow out of it. Objection. Yeah. Hearsay. Yeah, so let's talk about this. Apparently a Warner executive said girls graduate out of animation and uh, they managed to piss off a lot of animation fans and women working in the animation industry. And we can tell you this is definitely not true because yes. most of the people that we have problems with if we criticize cartoons are female. No, uh, no, no, it's probably true. And then the people that, that graduate out of cartoons go to being showrunners and use the cartoons as their own personal therapy sessions for themselves. Is that what we're, we're calling it? Okay, so let, let's talk about this because this is coming from, again, somebody at Warner and Warner owns Cartoon hey, Network. I'm just like, this is a load of shit. That's a really colossally bad take. Let me, how about, how about we put it this way? Maybe they just they just uh, age out of your cartoons. That could be. That and could they move be. on to other things that are better. Well, it's objective, but yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Riverdale. Well, I meant no. I mean cartoons. Like maybe yeah. moving on to anime. Anime. There we go. There we go. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred and seventy thousand subs. Uh, thank you for the support. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. Mm -hmm. We've had many, many people in the comments like, I never even thought to check, but oh my God, I was unsubscribed. Um, yeah, so we do talk about the animation industry. Uh, we've actually pitched shows ourselves. We've actually gotten a couple options before and no, they didn't get greenlit or you'd hear all about it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yet. Yet. There's some stuff going on. Stuff going on. Anyway, let's talk about this. Uh, Cartoon Brew put out a couple of days ago, and uh, I missed it, but they said, yeah, Warner Executive claims that girls graduate out of animation and it pisses off just about everybody. So this is at a uh, TV Kids Summer Festival keynote. Warner Brothers head of kids and family programming, this is a new one, the new one they hired, uh, including Cartoon Network, Amy Friedman made several comments which have animation fans and professionals up in arms. Uh, she began the talk by explaining that we're trying to take the DNA that is so beautiful about Cartoon Network and turn it into a full-fledged family offering. Hmm, that sounds concerning. So that would include preschool, inviting girls in, and also families. Wait, uh, okay, Cartoon Network. Was, wasn't that the home of, of Steven Universe? And Powerpuff Girls. And Powerpuff Girls. And, and Adventure Dexter. Time. People Adventure like Adventure Time, Adventure Time. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been to conventions and I've seen, even still, a bunch of older women dressed as Steven Universe characters or as Marceline or something oh, yeah, like that, yeah. you know, yeah. Fiona, you know, in Cake. I've seen that. I've seen, you know, bullshit. So mundane enough to start with, but were girls not in before? But it's where she went after that that sent animation social media into an uproar. Referencing Cartoon Network's recently announced plans to revitalize its earlier efforts in the live action space, bad idea. Uh, Friedman parroted comments from uh, Tom Asham, Warner's recently departed president of Global Kids, Young Adults and Classics, saying girls often graduate out of animation. Bullshit. Some of our most incredible competitors have been at the live action game for a long time. So we're talking Disney Channel shit, CW shit. Oh, the, the girls can like both. We know that's what girls want, live action. With live action, we're excited to reflect the world as it is, inviting girls in without alienating boys. Well, we're, I agree. Okay, well, that's good. You're inviting girls into live action space without alienating boys. I completely agree with that. You know, that's a good thing. I don't think you should alienate boys. But I call bullshit on this whole this argument. Is, this is bull, especially when some of the top uh, uh, showrunners now are, yeah. she -Ra. Do you know how many how much shit we get from 20-some-year-old She-Ra stands that are women? It's constant. So the reaction to her words were swift and decisive. Lauren Faust, of course, you know, mm -hmm. My Little Pony, uh, big, big time name. Foster's in Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah. I, I was an adult. I was an adult woman, and I watched that, just FYI. Yep. Uh, Lauren Faust said, Western animation doesn't give girls what they want. We give them toy commercials and lectures about how society expects them to behave. Why would anyone over eight, female or male, want any of that? Girls don't graduate from animation. Western animation. That's, there you go. Right there. See? It's not just me. Lauren Faust said the same thing. Western animation doesn't give older girls what they actually want. See, it's not just me. Um, I've been in this business for 28 years, and the statement, girls don't watch animation, has never gone away. 
I've never heard it before because I grew up always watching animation and I moved on to anime when I was older and I still watch shows with my kids and they watch stuff and then they watch anime and stuff now and I'll watch live action shows too but we watch like Pinky Boo will watch both you know she'll watch both and I just don't understand whether I never heard this that girls don't stay in cartoons I, I'd never heard this before yeah this is crazy only little windows of open-mindedness that disappear immediately with only uh, one not popular enough girl show. No number of failed boy cartoons would ever make studios give up on boys as viewers. Uh, Amphibia creator and executive producer Matt Braley expressed exhaustion at hearing the same thing. So damn tired of this take. It's based on outdated methods of data collection and a self-fulfilling prophecy to boot. Here's a thought. Stop thinking in terms of gender demographics. Like the toy biz, all it does is reinforce stereotypes and needlessly force kids in the lanes. Well, I don't disagree. I mean, like, I mean, I'm actually, it's a shocking day on Clownfish TV. We're going to agree with all these people. Yeah, no, I it's actually like do. It's like 100% agree, agree because, I, well, I've never heard this and I think it's absolutely stupid if they're, they're judging things based on that. Who are some of the biggest animation channels on YouTube? I mean, you look at Vivzy Pop, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, female showrunner, female uh, property she's working on female characters uh look at you know jaden animations um i think this is this is a really dumb a really dumb take a really short-sighted take yeah look at the most popular anime series i mean other than the the you know shonen stuff but look at some of the most popular anime and manga series out there are female well what's funny to me is you know? i didn't realize that they that that the studios have been having this this ridiculous mindset because it's in, it's in opposition to what they're saying out loud and i'm like well this might make sense of why our show one show didn't get picked up because we went with a female lead that and then the show that they had that was very similar that they changed they lead. changed some things yeah. about their original pitch and then looked like a lot like ours yeah it was it was all dudes that's a very complicated story. But right. yes. But I'm just thinking we, about we that did. now because I didn't realize this was what they're telling. So they're they're projecting about how, oh, we have to do it for girls too and everything else. And then behind the scenes, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I do know like with Encanto, they're mentioning Encanto. They had to fight to get, the animators did, to get Louisa to look the way she did. And the and because, oh, we, we have to make her all look pretty. And the girls loved Louisa. Boys loved Louisa too. Imagine yeah. that. You know, the weird thing is, is a lot of the shows that these networks are producing don't sell a lot of toys now anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, you know, weird that, uh, but then, you know, in Lauren Faust's case, they're going to look at that and they'll be like, yeah, well, a good chunk of your audience was, was male, wasn't it? You know, Lauren. And, um, you know, anyway, uh, this is, uh, Leah Carousella who works on Invincible, Encanto, Legend of Korra, and Infinity Train. I posted photos of oh. Encanto, Legend of Korra, Infinity Train, and Ms. Okay. Marvel to argue that Friedman's comments were off the mark. Uh, I think Cartoon Network misspoke and meant to say that executives in charge of making creative decisions have graduated I, out of wanting I to agree. make cartoons for girls. That's true. I think they've – look, I'll be honest. I think they've graduated out of wanting to make cartoons for anyone that's not uh, preschool age mm, at this point. Yeah, that's, that's um, also true. It's either established IP, things have been around for a while – or it's preschool, or it's... Well, uh, even preschool, think about the preschool. A lot of it... Well, I mean, they're doing better now, but a lot of it was geared more for, like, their boy characters. I mean, they've done better with, like, Doc McStuffins, and then, mm -hmm. you know, like, this is Gabby and stuff like that. But, you know, for a long time, it was like, you know, you have Paw Patrol, and there's, like, the one female character. Because they sell trucks. They sell toy trucks. Right. So That's, I'm saying, I mean, know. it's not... I mean... They're not completely wrong here. I mean, I will, I will side with... I will side with these people on this one, for sure. <laughs> girls often graduate out of animation. You sure about that? Like, really sure? I can tell you they don't. Uh, here's a YouTuber with 2.13 million subscribers. Uh, Illimation. That Cartoon Network tweet claiming girls graduate out of animation is just boggling my mind this morning. I grew up on Cartoon Network. Powerpuff Girls, my life is a teenage robot. Yes. Foster's Home. Uh, yes. Perhaps the issue isn't girls, but the lack of shows that include yes, them. Yes, I, I, I'm going to agree with them on this. I actually agree with this. Because, I mean, but then the, the problem is that when they have another show that they do, they go too far. Like we saw with she -Ra. Then they, like, you know, and then they're acting like that, that there weren't shows for girls before recent years, too. You have that that narrative, which also is not true. There were lots of shows when um, we were back in the 80s that were, were girls and girls mm. were strong characters in the shows for boys because they wanted both audiences. So there's a definite shift from when we were kids. To, to now, if that's the case. Well, weirdly, what drove a lot of that was toy sales. Uh, it, you know, look at look at um, Sumbo Productions, and they did, you know, Transformers and GI Joe, and then they're like, oh, we just realized that the uh, sisters 
are watching these shows too. I was too. one of those people. Yeah. So they were like, okay, so we're going to do My Little Pony and we're going to do Gem and love both of those. What they do, like whatever well, yeah. was with My Little Pony, like the Potato Head Kids and all that stuff. They yeah, and I mean, we, yeah, and then we saw like when we were like kids, like I mean. Everybody watched the same shows, boy or girl, or about the same toys. Boys wanted Couch Patch Kids and Care Bears. Girls wanted Couch Patch Kids and Care Bears. And, you know, there was it was definitely marketed to both, and they tried to do what they could to include both. Contra, which is funny, because if that's the case, it kind of blows the narrative they've been spinning for the last five or six years, doesn't it? It does. But, um, you know, they are doing shows for both, but this whole idea that girls don't want to watch anymore, but guys do, is stupid. I mean... What shows are guys still still watching that girls aren't? Like, you know what I mean? Like when they when girls are older, the same when girls get older, they stop watching cartoons. Well, what shows are boys still watching when they get older? Then that's a good question. I, I don't know. I mean, um, it doesn't make sense because if you're arguing one, then I could argue the other. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I mean, most kids are moving on to anime because exactly. anime has older characters. Exactly. It has you know usually focuses on teenagers or young adults, and the you know the plots are more complex and yeah. So. And then you have people watch it, and maybe they're thinking like because oh Castlevania or like the yeah. but the Masters of the Universe show which sucked. But you know what I'm saying? Two thousand two He Man boys and girls watched it. It was mostly geared for boys though I think, but boys and girls both were watching that. I don't know. I, I this whole idea that girls do not I disagree with the idea that it's western animation that there's a problem with completely agree with i do agree with that 100 percent um because again we don't have this problem in japan you look at most of the anime and the, a good majority of the most popular shows have have female leads or a lot of female characters and, the, and, they're, and both men and women watch them yeah 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 it's because they know how to, to make it a show that appeals to everyone so we're going to wrap this up? Yes. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- <gasps> Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>